Yo, what up, what up, what up? <laughs> What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel, man. It's your boy. And we're back with the Agents of Smash. So I had a couple people hitting me up asking who I was going to get to level 71st from the new characters and the characters that got uniforms. So here you go, okay? We already have Hoka Tier 3, obviously. But today... I decided, you know what? I wanted to make some more level 70 characters. I think it's because of playing Shadowland yesterday and realizing that now more than ever, level 70 characters are actually becoming more needed. All right, so I went ahead. I got Abomination, Cho, and Red She-Hulk to level 70. Now, I know some of you guys are going to be like, hold up, what about the regular She-Hulk? I thought you like her. She's going to get her special moment, man. Don't worry, okay? Like I said, I like them thick. I like Okay, what's wrong with me? So, yeah, man, we're going to take these three into a little bit of content today. See how they flush out. I'm going to be going into DBR, which should be interesting because Abomination, as you guys know, he relies on defense down. Same goes for Amadeus Cho as well. And Red She-Hulk is a beast. The cool thing is all three of these characters have damage accumulation. So their damage should still be respectable. And I think even at level 60, they could do GBR, but I wanted to bring them in at 70. So I decided to get them to 70 today. It cost me 30 million gold to do it, but here we are. I was trying to hold on to some gold for the mid-month patch, but it'd be like that. Before we jump in though, let's see if we can get some hype, right? I got a bunch of my, uh, I got five, right? <laughs> a bunch. Anyways, I got five boys, five booty boxes. A couple of people hit me up saying, yo, you should record when you're opening the boxes so we can see them. Let's pop it open. Can we get some YouTube luck? Seems like it was a one. Ooh, actually, this is not bad. This is not bad. We got, okay, we got a rank six, right? Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad, man. We got a uh, energy. That's good. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. I was hoping for a card or a rage or whatever, but hopefully you guys are getting all that, okay? Additionally, I just want to remind you guys really quickly before we jump into the gameplay, right? There's only three days left on this uniform collection. So make sure you go ahead and complete the collection if you have the uniform for these characters because it's 375 crystals that you'll basically never be able to claim again. And these uniforms, I think they're worth having. If, if you did purchase She-Hulk, if you didn't purchase She-Hulk's uniform, you can live without it, right? But you get back some of the crystals if you actually get them to Mythic, right? And I'm going to register mine right now. And I think it's an easy collection because you only have to rank up three uniforms and basically all three of these characters are free to play friendly. So that's dope. Pretty cool looking collection. If I do say so myself, all right? Let's pop it. Let's, let's pop into some content, boys. I think we're going to kick things off with... Uh, which boss is this? Okay, so speed. Perfect! <laughs> We don't want this trash CTP. I got seven of them, seven too many. Anyways, I wish I could trade all seven for one rage or whatever. Anyways, we're gonna start it off. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. So I decided to jump into our public lobby. They saw Red She-Hulk and they decided to immediately kick me out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, man, it is what it is. I want first place, nothing else. Okay. Yo, Namor, can you chill? Do you have, well, I guess he can't really chill, right? He, he, well, he can. There's water around him, all right? Right, even though there's fire, bro, I guess he can, I don't know, bro. He, I guess he, he can't show, bro. Okay, of course they put that on. Yo, Massimo, can you kill that guy, bro? He's a mutant, he's a mutant scum, bro. It's funny seeing somebody use um, Iron Man's 3099 uniform. I think this is one of the first times I've ever seen it in Giant Boss Raid. I, did I even use it in Giant Boss Raid? I can't even remember. It's been so long. 
you know it'd be cool if they do what grand cross do and actually have like final boss or season boss and just if you beat the boss you can actually get their outfit even if it doesn't give you the greatest stats it would be really cool so like kind of like how if you beat the story mission for 3099 right you get these free costumes and they're not really that op i think nice little trophies like that that don't really i guess make that big of an impact in the grand scheme of things we lost the name more what do you expect right let's see how this turn out this should be interesting shout out to these guys for coming through and coming through with the exact same team at that okay we are definitely not running yo we're not it's not a race guys or maybe it is i don't know can somebody like tell these guys to chill out man like why they gotta be so fast for it? bro even his attacks are just so slow look at how slow he's moving bro <laughs> abomination versus hulk let's go i guess this is where you guys see where hulk is superior Okay. I'm gonna get clapped. Okay, I'm over here. You know what's funny? I almost for a second there felt like I couldn't outrun like a beam that I seen coming like a mile and a half away. It's crazy. Yo. Abomination. Bro, can you run that? Okay, you, you managed to escape. Come on, let's beat the Hulk, bro. A bomb. The fraud. Not not the real one. Because my guy Rick Jones ain't in the game yet. But you, you know, you know what it is, bro. We calling him A bomb until we get the real real. Right? Come on. Shout out to Jon Snow and uh hold up. Let me not mispronounce your name. Great, great okay. Okay, great dark. Okay, let, let, let me let me let me let me let me win this yo guys guys just just stop attacking for a second please please man okay they cheated by the way hulk hulk hulk's a cheater bro look at that face you can't you can't believe a guy like that yo real talk though that's not bad unless this build is not good we did okay man so abomination giving hulk a, a run for his money here even without defense down. Wow. Now, I don't have a CTP on Amadeus. Keep that in mind, guys. And his build is not done yet. But the uniform is that mythic. So, no excuses. Even though I just gave one. <laughs> Let's see how, how well or not so well we do. I'm not sure if um, John has the awaken skill. Because there's no way for me to tell. So we'll just try our best and see what becomes of it. I might give him a CTP and try them all against um, Galactus tomorrow or today, depending on when you guys see this. It's probably going to be the day. Yo. Oh, yeah, he does have the awakened skill. Man, he melts. Wow. So if I lose to Cho, it's not that bad, right? Because technically I'm losing to myself. And that means I'm winning, technically, right? Because if I lose if I lose to me, then either way I win, right? <laughs> me being Cho, that is, right? <laughs> yeah, bro. He's actually melting. Bro, are we awakening? What? Bro, are we awakening Amadeus? Bro, are we awakening Amadeus? Comment down below, bro. Yo, John just lit that up. Wow. Yo, I, I came nowhere. Well, that's not true. What was it? Like 28 for me? Actually, 20%. I could barely see. Yeah. So 20% for me and 47% for John. Interesting. I'm thinking, boys. And girls, right? I know there's a couple of you guys watching. I'm thinking we we give the we give the man here the awaken skill. Alright. So we definitely have enough to do his. But 
I kind of want to wait off and just just a little bit and see what happens with the mid month patch, right? Because if 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 Red gets something and then I have to do his as well, I won't be able to do Reds. And I do want to do my man Beta Ray, aka the one true alpha, right? I want to do his as well as Cho's. So at some point, these are gonna get done. Honestly, what the Future Fight team should do is give us more ways to earn Mandalay. I guess Mandalay gems and fragments or whatever. But I guess then squad battle. Well, squad battle can still be the primary way, just like how War Boss is the primary way for getting on um, Black Antimatter. But there's other ways you can get it. Like you can get a little bit from Shadowland and stuff. If they sprinkle Mandalay gems and Mandalay fragments and stuff into other game modes or maybe even in the timeline or something, right? That'd actually be pretty cool, man, because um, I'm kind of behind on all the Awakened characters. I'm just saying. But I guess that's what they want, right? They want you to spend that money. <laughs> but we're going to wrap it up right here, man. Just wanted to test these guys out a little bit in GBR, see how they perform. They didn't do as bad as I thought they would do, considering, especially him. I thought he would do way worse because based on my testing, he's just basically all defense down. So it makes me wonder how high can he go against Thanos, especially if we complete the build, right? Because I'm missing Urus on him. I'm missing Urus on him. And I'm definitely missing Urus on her. Like all of them are missing stats, right? She does, she has a 120 proc. He has a 160 proc, which is a little bit better. He has a CTP, so that's why he did so well, plus his tier two passive. So basically he had triple support, right? Plus that 20% chain hit on top of the 30 from here. You can kind of see why he's ahead of the pack, right? So I'm thinking about giving them all CTPs, well, at least these two CTPs, and trying them out against Galactus and see if they can actually do anything. I feel like they might just end up like just being carried, but I do, I do want to try them and see how they turn out, right? Especially Cho without the Awakened skill. With the Awakened skill, he definitely looks like a monster, no doubt, right? John definitely laid it down, so. If you watch this, John, shout out to you, man. Thanks for coming through. Same for you, Greatar. You guys are freaking awesome. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.